Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a genuine Rod and Staff Union. Now, there are some things to know in terms of where some of this is going, and you might be saying, now what? Now we've passed through the solstice, and now what? Well, to give you an idea, you're going to notice something that happens out there, and those are going to be the things that might be glaringly obvious where it's before they weren't. It's that you've moved, other people haven't. And yet, there is still some things to know about how much you've moved, what this shift means, how to heal, and how to do some things from the next level. So the next level is actually being embodying and bridging things from the fifth dimension, but you are not bringing the fifth dimension here, nor are you, are we merging it together. The fifth dimension is not happening on this level of earth. It's not, it won't, never had it, never will. And it's part of what grates on people because it never was. It's never the feeling of home for a lot of people. As much as you would like to be grounded as much as you would like to um, feel like you fit in or feel like certain things are familiar. Now, some things are familiar to people who have been here in many cycles, but that's not what I'm going to talk about here. I'm talking about those of you who have taken those quantum leaps forward and are now able for next level. When I say able, it means you're capable. It means you're enabled, it means the things inside you and within you have started to awaken, okay? Not just awaken, but activate. There is a lot being said about the divine masculine. The divine masculine also is a part of this. It's not that the divine masculine is not participating. The divine masculine is the energy that is sensible, that... Um, and you might say, well, if I look at, you know, a certain person, maybe they're not. Don't go there, please. Please don't. Because we're not talking about the human level of things. We're talking about structure. We're talking about bringing things together in an orderly fashion. We're talking about bringing things to a level where there is harmony and peacefulness about it. Okay. And not just peace, but True harmony where things harmonize with each other. It feels like they get along. There is another thing to know about this, and this is something people have been noticing. How are we going to heal or get rid of certain things? Well, it starts with those people who have become awakened first. You may wonder and you might say, well, why? Why did this happen to me? Or why this? Why that? While there is a glut of information out there in every sector, thanks to the advent of a lot of technology, and thank you, technology, but now it's a little bit of what do you sift through? What works, what doesn't? Some of what will be resonating for some of you is that you're getting ready to do this at another level. So whether this is personally, just for your own well-being, comfort, and health, and getting to the next level, and it has that ripple effect, or whether you tell yourself, I'm doing this for my twin, which is still you, and you're getting things to that next level. There are also people that will be doing this and being able to be the fifth dimensional healers amongst the fourth dimensional people who would begin awakening. Now we're talking about events of this year. We had a solstice. We have a lion's gate coming up. There's another time frame in October, and that time frame is for awakening other people. So getting yourself on board with what's what, particularly with your body. So there is time during this retrograde. The two retrograde uh, influences that we have going on will continue until September. And this is for you to feel and practice your divinity, your sacred angelic light body. This sometimes annoys people. Please don't let it annoy you. Please get comfortable with this being you, not just a part of you, but you, more like your true you. 
the true you and the true other. For those of you who can't feel your twin anymore, there's a reason for it. The reason has a lot to do with your body and the process that's going on. This is also time for you to reprioritize your life, your growth, and being divine. Now, sometimes that's been rather random for people. You'll have a spiritual experience, and there are people around you who don't believe you. That goes way back into history where people have been vilified and hunted down or worse, killed for describing their experiences. This is going to become much more prevalent for people. And as it you know goes into the media and public figures have these experiences, it will be a lot easier to not just talk about, but to find levels of acceptance. Some of you are out there on the front of this, and that's why you awakened first. And you might say to yourself, why this, why that, why me? Stop with the why me and start rolling with what you're really here for. Now, when I say being a fifth dimensional in and amongst fourth dimensional, what does that actually entail? What that entails is that a lot of you will have gone through some of the darkness and the bumpiness and the body aches, pains, pokes, the uh, mental and emotional sides. And even if you are not sure if you're on a twin plane journey, you will find out many things through my classes that actually do resonate with you. Not only resonate, explain it, and get it shifted and back to feeling good. Because I'm all about getting people to the level where you feel empowered and that you are actually able to not just help yourself, but possibly turn around and be able to help other people. So in order to do this, I have several events coming up here. I have a three-day certification class. Yes, I'm uh, certifying people for this. July 27th, 28th, and 29th here in Chicago. That is a live class, and it is uh, called The Important Principles, Reconnecting, and the Frequencies of Being a Twin Flank. Now, this is good information. It's a three-day segment. We will be covering various uh, aspects of discernment, the grid work. It will involve touch. It will involve a lucid meditation that merges parts of you with your twin. And there's a lot more because this is a three-day class. I also will be having a one-week certification coming up in October or possibly sooner. We will also talk in this class about proper and appropriate conflict resolution. Whatever those conflicts may be, whether it's a conflict with family, children, professionals, whether it's aspects or systems of your life that you need, conflict resolution goes hand in hand with some of your grid work. And we will be talking about uh, very simplified ways for you to do this. But again, it is you being the angelic here at a level where you still will be living. So how many of you out there would say that you still have responsibilities? You have bills to pay, you have a house to pay, you have a lodging to pay, you have to put a roof over your head. How many of you have children and families or other things that you're responsible for? Maybe an elderly parent. How are you finding yourself able to have a balance with this twin flame journey and your daily life? So this is part of what we will cover in the class. It's only a part. It's only one of the aspects about practicing your divinity and being the sacred angelic that you are. You have a sacred body. You're here to make love at the level of the sacred. Not just a hidden, furtive, quick little thing in the dark. That's not what you're here for. Not only do you deserve better, it's your birthright. It's your birthright. And I'm here to teach you how to expand that and get back to the natural parts of you that are inherent in you so that you are 
self-assured, you're confident, but not only that, you're self-healing, you're self-regenerating, you're self-energizing, and further, that you are together and things are fun and passionate. While it is true that people say this isn't about hearts and cards and flowers here on earth, those are expressions of love. Okay, it's that simple. Giving someone a flower is an expression of love and caring, tenderness, affection. Whether you give it to your mom or a lover or a child gives it to someone, doesn't matter. It's an expression of love. Okay, now let's take that a step up and how do you express the love in a higher way? where it reciprocates, where it recharges you, where it floats your boat up out of those stuck levels, where it gets you to not only feeling good, but where you're like, woohoo! Okay, how do you get back to that initial surge of feeling? Okay, you surged and then maybe it fell flat, or you came down to earth and you found that there's still stuff to attend to. And this gets very disturbing for people. Because they will say, you know what? I was feeling good, but the bubble burst. The bubble burst, and I don't know how to get it back. I teach you how to hold your bubble. Not only that, I teach you how to not be empathic where other people's stuff hurts you. I teach you and guide you and empower you. So if this sounds interesting to you, come join my live class, okay? There will be touch. I will also be working with essential oils. And I do get personal guidance. So to give you an idea, and we make this fun, okay? One of the things that um, we actually had a couple of questions. Uh, one of the things that I want people to know is that there are things that I can tell you about your past that does, you know, kind of answer some questions and make it interesting. We talked about birthmarks. What happened and why this birthmark and why this or that? We had a lot of fun with that, but we still got some things done. Another question was, are we always going to be healing? And that was an excellent question. I really loved that question. You know why? The answer is no, you're going to be kissing. Okay. And it is, as you may have noticed out there, it might seem one-sided, but only one of you needs to get some things ready. Your twin is working with you. You work in tandem with each other. You're not working separately, and then you have to double up, okay? The parts of you that need to heal are different in different people's bodies, and we will focus on that. That's part of the personal touch that I put on it. Not just personal touch, but actually helping things to get moved. Helping you with what do you do on a daily basis? How do you keep your channels open and not fall into those depressions that happen? Where you know it's not clinical depression, but nonetheless you feel flat, you feel blah, you feel as though you kind of don't care about it. You want to say, screw all this stuff. How do you get that oomph back? Because I'm going to tell you something. Being able to find that again and again and again is what will keep you going. There's, there's no, you know, there's nobody that's going to come and, you know, go, ha, 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 ha. I'm going to do a song and a dance. You have to find it from within. So this is a time for going within and feeling and practicing your divinity. Now, if let's say Chicago is not possible for you at the end of July, I do have a four-week online class for the Lionsgate New Moon to New Moon. This is online from July 9th to August 10th. The links are below. We are going to cover some of the same things. So it will be live if you miss one you will actually be able to find that um, I send you the recording and you're able to keep up with it. It is Monday through Friday for four weeks from the 9th to August 10th, just a little bit past the Lionsgate. We want to focus on recapturing the love. 
because some people wonder if they should give up. Now, I want to make another special note. Let's say you're a professional of some sort in some type of uh, capacity. Uh, you work with people. You like people. You work with people. But you're feeling like you're sort of hitting a wall on some stuff. Or you also find it personally frustrating where you say, you know, will people ever heal? Come and join. In fact, in September, I have a class that will give you continuing education credits. What if you're a healer and you want that next level so that you're able to expand? Okay, think about that a moment. Okay, because I want to make a clear and separate distinction. When you have people that are healers, and there's all kinds of healers, there's people, that's, there's people that do hair that are healers. If you touch someone, you might feel yourself as a healer in a way if you are um, feeling people's energies. Okay, now take that a step further. How do you not feel empathic? How do you clear their stuff away from your union? And how do you feel good despite whatever is up here while you're cutting their hair? Or while you're doing their nails? And they're talking to you and they're talking and talking and talking. What do you do and what can you further help them with? Okay. How do you help your twin? So, while a lot of angelics actually find that medical is here, okay, they go to the doctor, the doctor doesn't really know what's happening, and the doctor won't. Doctors are, tra are trained in allopathic medicine. Even people that are trained in Eastern, whether it's Chinese or Ayurvedic, will not always be able to account for twin flame energies. And it's not just twin flame energies. It is your connection to your twin flame. So it's like asking someone to diagnose two people, but all they can see is one person. Okay? By the time that things get to the physical level, you need the medical community over here. That's the human side. Who's going to be healing the angels? Okay? And some of that is some of you. Come and find out. Come and learn some of the basic things and important principles and the frequencies about doing the healing, activating the diamond light codes, activate your own diamond light codes so that you're able to, you're connecting here. You're not connecting mentally to the old collective, okay? These connections here are, and it's leaving people feeling scattered, disfocused, frustrated, blanked out. You might have a very neutral feeling, and it gets upsetting for you. And I've been through it. And believe me, when you're in that state of being you have to watch your own coordination. Watch other people. You may not have the same quick reflexes. You may find that people are not quite themselves, but you're actually the one that's moving. So we are getting ready to do things here at the next level. And why? And some of you may agree with this. Some of you, you felt like your number was called up. Come on, step forward. Start getting you activated and awakened. And you were like, whoa, this is a doozy. This is really intense. Yes, it is. And some of the people who begin to awaken in October, and I'm not just talking about family and friends or your twin, because the twin is going to keep pace with you. There is a convergence point for you. I'm talking about other people who will need to know about some of this. So if you're someone who, you know, maybe has looked for information, you've researched this, you said, what is this all about? What's happening to me? What's happening to my body? Why do I feel like things spin out of control? Okay. Or you may even feel like you have a good handle on things. You've sort of leveled your level and you have a good handle on things. However, you want to get to the next level. Whatever your situation, come and join. Come and sign up. 
I will also be repeating the class in August, the August 10th, 11th, and 12th. For that one, I will have a live stream event. So if you can't make it to Chicago, you can follow along with a live stream. And you can check out my links below in the description. And there's another thing I'll mention. Because when these things start to happen for people, a lot of times you'll seek someone to read for you. And that does happen. There are people that go and seek help. They want someone who knows about spiritual stuff or knows psychic stuff or knows how to do things. But I want to explain something. This is why you're seeing a proliferation of people whose gifts are opening. Your gifts are opening because it's actually an inherent part of you. It's time for you to get to the next level. Okay? Because the readings... Yes, I do readings and I do help people, but the next part is actually the body work and body work sessions. So I have a studio where I do live body work on people and I have the um, ways to do it. I also have the above connections to guide me through what you need on an individual basis because there's two of you and that is another thing to know. I feel both of you. I feel you and your twin. So even if you're not experiencing something and I feel it from your twin, we'll get it moving. That is what I do. That is my gift. And it is the heart versus the head. Now, let's just bring this into a focus here. Let us say, what, what is this all about? I mean, what is it ultimate? It's about hearts and flying and making love, and kissing, and passion. The depth of passion that you haven't been able to experience in a long time. The depth of passion that you see people post about. The poetry, the lyrics, the visuals, the art, the kissing, the passion. When you get this close and you could just feel like you're sinking into each other. That's what it's all about, helping everyone to be in love. Yes, granted, there are some people going first. It's that way. Why is it that way? Because for some of you, you have to jump forward and keep things going while other people then go through their stuff. It helps keep the world turning. Okay, we don't want things to implode. We don't want anyone to really have a nervous breakdown, although that does happen. I don't wish that on people. In fact, I work to help people avoid this. So this is a condensed version of several things that will be helpful for you. The Lion's Gate is a four-week version of things that will be helpful for you to get your channels open and let you know about the most important parts. And when it comes to your twin, please do expect to be with each other, to be kissing each other, to passionately feel each other, to be in your own universe, to be back in your sovereignty, to feel your divine senses of each other. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you there. Click the links. The links are down below and on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. And please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who has been in my classes and taken my webinars. It has been wonderful having you. It's actually been wonderful meeting so many of you. Everyone's love story is unique. And this is a unique love story. We're all having love stories at the same time. And yet each person and each couple is utterly unique. You will never find duplications, no matter how many common ascension symptoms that you have. The passion is private and the passion is personal and the passion, it is, the passion is divine because that's what love is. That's what love truly is. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. See you there. Email me with questions. Bye.